and needed some coins to build that dream team you guys have always wanted, make sure to head on over to my sponsor, Buy Madden Coins. They have the cheapest, the quickest, and most reliable coins on the market right now. Head on over to Buy Madden Coins and use code Poodle at checkout for 20% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Video Guide. Today, I'm going to be going over the best players at each position that you guys need right now in Madden 20. Now, obviously, we got a lot of Blitz players coming in. We got a lot of Harvest players and a Christmas promo soon. So, I kind of want to give you guys my list before we go into the Christmas promo of who the best players in the game are right now. And a lot of you guys have been asking who should you pick up, what well, quarterbacks, you know, yada yada. So, I figured this was about the time to drop this vid on you guys and get you guys some knowledge on my opinion. Remember that this video is very opinionated. It's my opinion on who's the best players in the game. So, don't comment down below saying that I'm wrong. It's very impossible because it's my opinion. Now, you guys can tell me who you guys prefer. That's cool too. Like, just let me know because I'll gladly change my list if I feel like you guys are right. But I'm just letting you guys know. It's my opinion. I'm not telling you guys that he is the best. I'm saying for me, I feel like that would be the best player that I'd want. And I give you guys reasons why. So make sure you stay tuned for all that. Now, as you guys noticed, the 25 days of Poot Miss. So make sure you go down below to enter this giveaway. All you got to do is go down below, subscribe to the channel, comment down below your system, the secret word that you guys will hear at some point in this video, and like the video. Once you do those four things, you're entered to win. So let's get into this. Now, the giveaway winners for the last two days that I was behind on is Micah M and Betty Won't. You guys are, I believe you guys were both Xbox or PS4. I didn't check the console, so just hit me up on Twitter to redeem your rewards. Go over to Twitter. The link will be down below in the description. Remember, Betty won't. Micah M, hit me up on Twitter, and I will get back to you as quickly as possible. I'll probably pay you guys out the coins by tomorrow when I am home. I'll probably be gone by the time you guys see this, but all you got to do is hit me up on Twitter and redeem your reward. If it's not redeemed within like two days, I will probably transfer it over to someone else. So just let me know. Hit me up on Twitter. Going over to the auction block where I like to usually run this. I'm going to go position by position. So you guys can also see price. Remember, I do price orient this too. Like I don't just do it based on the player's ability. I also count a I count price into it because in my opinion, price is definitely important when it comes to deciding on whether or not a guy's better than another card. Because at the end of the day, if it's a million coins versus 100k, they're similar enough. Go with the 100k guy. So let's start at quarterback. At quarterback, guys are plenty cheap right now, but I gotta go with my man Lamar Jackson. 600k, but he's definitely worth it. I haven't fully powered up to show you guys what he looks like on the right. With all my cams and stuff on my team, this guy has above 90 throw power, almost above 90 deep accuracy, above 90 everything, pretty much besides medium accuracy. With that crazy speed, I'm telling you, this card is one of the best cards, one of the best quarterbacks in the game, if not the best quarterback. But for me, I'm gonna go with him as the best quarterback in Madden, just because of whatever he's so he's so multi multi talented. He can do so many things. He's not just a strict. He can, he can pass now too. He hits a lot of thresholds for passing, which he didn't have before. So that definitely makes. He was already super fast, but the passing thresholds definitely help. Now running back. This one's a very controversial one because there is plenty of guys to choose from here. Any of the 94s will suffice, but I think the two top options by definitely by far are Barry Sanders and Eric Dickerson. Now, Chris Johnson is definitely an honorable mention, but I feel like if you compare Chris Johnson to Barry Sanders, Barry Sanders is like a slightly better Chris Johnson because that break tackle. And I just like if I had to choose one, I'd probably end up going Barry, though they're definitely very similar. But Barry versus Eric Dickerson, that's your choice. I have no opinion on this one. I, I like Barry more. But I've heard Eric Dickerson's better, so it all really comes down to what you think on that. Now at fullback, fullback is a position where it's very, it's also very, very biased. Like, what do you use? Do you like to receive with your fullback? Do you like to run with your fullback? Do you like blocking? I think Christian Okoye is the best fullback well rounded wise because he can, he's fast. He can actually run the ball. He can lead, impact, and run block. Probably the best fullback in the game. Kyle Juchek is really good, but he's going to be he's expensive because he's a limited time and he can't run block as well as Christian Okoye can. And where does he have the speed? Now, wide receiver. I'm gonna give you guys two, I'm gonna give you two guys real quick. So first guy is actually in the 90 to 91 overall range, and that is going to be once I get to him. Where is he? Tyree Kill. I know he's only 91, but trust me, that speed is game breaking. You put Shaker, you chem him up, and everything. He's gonna have high catching stats, pretty decent route running stats, and a crazy speed and athleticism. Definitely, probably the best. He's the glitchiest receiver for me, at least in terms of just in terms of what he can do. Michael Irvin is a close second when it comes to being. If you want an actual receiver, like a pure receiver, go with Michael Irvin. But if you want like a guy who can just be glitchy and make the best plays you've ever seen, Tyreek Hill's probably your guy. Definitely feels glitchy out there, especially with change of direction and all that stuff. Now, tight end. They've added some more tight ends to the game. Now, I want to say oh, this one's tough. So I have two guys in mind. Now the first guy is gonna be George Kittle. He's my personal tight end because he can do everything, not just one thing. He's fast, he can catch, he can route run, he can block. But a close, close second, if you guys even wanna consider him second, you might consider him first, is Darren Waller. He has way better catching stats and better speed. He just can't route run as well or run block as well. And with the way the running game is this year, I kinda like to lean towards that just a little bit more than usual. 
Now, best left tackle. I'm still not going to go with Joe Thomas. I still feel like that's still very expensive for a left tackle in comparison to where you can get for cheap. You can get Anthony Munoz for 119K. Power up and came up. You're still going to have close to all 90 thresholds all across the board. Now, I'm going to keep I'm gonna keep linemen fast, obviously, because I don't really want to sit here forever going over linemen. Now, left guard. It's gotta, I think it's got to be this one guy. I'm going to go over to him right now. I think Gene Upshaw is still the best bang for your buck. 250K. Can do it all. Run, pass, block. He's decently athletic, and he's really tall. Center. I'm gonna go with Travis Frederick still. Powered up and chemed up. He's honestly a monster. He can do everything and he's a ma he's massive for inside zone and run blocking, which is why I still have him, have him powered up all the way. Great word for this video is going to be carrot. Comment down below, carrot, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment your console and your entrance win. Highly recommend you go with Travis Frederick there. At right guard, I'm gonna have to go with the same guy I've had for quite a while now since Mud Heroes, and that is David DeCastro. Very well-rounded. He can do it all, which is the best part of him. He's not just like one-dimensional. He can run and pass block and stock. Like just with just putting a cam on him will be more than above 90 and everything. And if you want to power him up too, that's just an added bonus. And that right tackle, I actually did pick up a new one finally. We got the brand new Lane Johnson. I think he's the best right tackle in the game. He can do a little bit of everything. He has athleticism. He's fast. Obviously, he can pass block. He can run block. Now you power up and come up. He's gonna have all above 90 everything. And he's going to be going to be a chain mover. He's going to be able to. Oh, I should say a, a, a line mover because you know chain mover is more like offensive. Now left end. And you got to go with the NFL 100 players. They're really taking over at this point. They're really really good. At left end, I'm gonna have to go with Reggie White. Reggie White is overpowered. You power up and come this guy up. He'll have close to 90, like 98 power move. He'll have high play rec, close to 98 block shed, above 90 excel if you put shaker on him and you power him up and chem him up and above 80 speed with almost 98 strength. This card's gonna be insane power up and chemmed up. There's really no, I can't even debate that one. At defensive tackle again, me and Joe Green or Alan Page. It really depends on your preference here. Alan Page is more athletic, good finesse, good block shed. Now me and Joe Green isn't nearly athletic, but he has a way better block shed, way better power move and better strength i believe so it all comes down to your other athleticism i think alan page might be the better one if you if you're more care care about well rounded because if you power and come up he's gonna sell mostly above 90s all really depends on your preference there now right end it really depends too so for right end i currently have aaron donald but that's more of a money thing more so than if he's easy the best deacon jones obviously has a bit there. i'm gonna compare him to aaron donald these are these are the two top options aaron donald and deacon jones now aaron donald I think it's better because he's better block shed power move finesse, but that's also powered up. If you powered up Deacon, maybe tied in block shed, tied in power move, similar in finesse move. He'd have better play work, better tackle, but Aaron Donald, and they have like the same exact thing. They have the same almost everything. The difference is probably going to be strength and your finesse move. I think they're almost the same card, so it comes down to would you rather have the better overall card, and he's a little bit more expensive. Although he has come down quite a bit in the coming in the last few days. Left outside linebacker, Bobby Bell. I actually really like Bobby Bell. People, people trash him. But he's got great speed, great excel, great tackle, great play, uh, play rec, decent block shedding, decent pass rushing, and to top it all off, I'm pretty sure he's got zone. So that's exactly what I look for in an outside linebacker, especially for my left outside. Yeah, he's got what is it, 85 zone coverage. So if you power him up, I mean 86. You put John Madden Powell lockdown, and you put lockdown times three on him. He could get to a 90 zone. I left outside linebacker with great play rec, great speed, great excel, great height. Gonna be a stud linebacker for me. I left outside, left outside linebacker. I, I highly recommend him personally middle linebacker you know as good as willie lanier is i don't know if i'd recommend him i i think for the price wise you're probably still better off with ray lewis because they're almost exactly the same so actually i'm, I'm comparing for willie lanier so you guys can have an idea of what i'm talking about it's pretty much lanier versus ray lewis in my opinion and if you compare the two I've, obviously ray lewis is powered up so if they, if they if he wasn't powered up they'd have the same speed the same excel the same strength just about almost the same tackle same play rec worst block shed worst hit power by like two and worst zone but the thing with ray lewis is that he's a lot cheaper i'm pretty sure and that's i mean it's preference uh, if you have the coins go for it but it's between lanier and ray but i i, I kept with ray because i already have him powered up chemmed up and he's the cheaper option lawrence taylor by far is the best outside linebacker in the game powered up and chemmed up with shakers have above 90 speed above 90 excel above 90 strength above 90 tackle above 90 play rack above 90 blocks and above 90 power moving above 90 one finesse move it's gonna be all above 90s and that includes his athleticism which is crazy for an outside linebacker that pass rushes i think this card's insane i'm pretty sure his zone and catch is horrible but i still want to see if they give him at least a little zone buff for this card he has a 47 zone they did not i was hoping maybe be like a 65 70 it would have been decent i'll come over to cornerbacks night train lanes up there for the number one right now but i'm not, not number one he's up there because i'm gonna give you guys three cornerbacks so i'm gonna give you guys three options tonight train lanes one of them 
actually i could just show you guys my comparison i'm not even sure go to him i got nitro lane here i think he's tied for second actually i think first is gonna go to Deion sanders for now He's got crazy speed, crazy athleticism, makes crazy plays, crazy zone. The only thing with him is his press, which just kind of suck. And that's where Nitro Lane steps in. If he covers the more physical corner with his great press, his zone, his speed, his hip power. And the hip power is huge, too. He's great in the run game, and he can force a lot of fumbles on receivers and running backs. He does have that hip power. Now, the first best is going to probably overtake both of them. He'll probably be tonight when they drop the NFL 100 secondary. More than likely, they'll overtake those two guys for the best cornerbacks, but they'll definitely be up there. So I'd recommend any of those two guys, and then you probably should wait for a third guy as far as the NFL 100. Free safety, again, another guy's going to be coming out tonight. So I wouldn't recommend you guys go all in on free safety right now. I recommend you probably wait for NFL 100 tonight and tomorrow morning, see what comes out. But for me now, I'm still rocking with Brian Dawkins. I think Brian Dawkins is still the best free safety for my team. He's got still great speed, cheap price, great play rec, great pursuit, great zone, great hit power. He can do it all, decent height. Still gets the job done. I'm not going to go spending crazy coins considering we're getting new ones and i still think he's pretty great for his price and then kicker i rock with justin tucker great kick pal great kick accuracy can't really go wrong with him it's a kicker there's, there's only like two eligible kickers you'd actually want right now it's probably him maybe this guy that i can never say his name but other than that i think that's pretty much it and then punters if you guys really want to see punters i will show you them but i'm gonna go with the top guys see i'm gonna go with uh, brett kern brett kern's probably the best punter i don't i haven't bought a punter all year so i'm not entirely sure on the whole punter the whole punter game i still got trey away well guys that is about it for the video i think i covered all the reasons why i, I kept it quicker i don't want to make this video because this video used to be like 17 minutes for you guys and i know you guys want to sit here for 17 minutes kept it a little bit quicker kept it more upbeat that's about it for the video guys make sure to go down below comment the secret word subscribe to the channel comment your console and make sure to like the video and then once you do those things you're entered to win make sure you're doing all the videos today i'm out see you guys in the next video peace